We're live. Greg, we live, Bob. Greg Pickle. <laughs> As we talk, Beautiful. Penn State is undergoing their first practice yes. of the 2018 spring. Better yet, James Franklin met with the media a couple hours ago. And I wanted to ask you specifically about Micah Parsons mm -hmm. and the roller coaster ride that the Penn State coaching staff was on with him yeah. to get him to Penn State and what James Franklin had to say about it. I was impressed that James Franklin, I mean, not, not that it's going to come off the wrong way, but he told the truth about this recruitment. And a lot of times coaches are sugarcoat these things or they just won't right. come out and say anything at all. He was quite clear about the fact that people within the Penn State program, Bob, asked if it was worth right. the continued recruitment of Parsons because he did have a lot of fanfare. There was a lot of social media drama. He was visiting here, visiting there, visiting everywhere. There was a lot going on. There was a lot at stake for Penn State in this recruitment for yeah. a number of different reasons. And he was honest about the fact that there were people in the program that thought maybe this isn't worth it. But the big takeaway today is that three months into his time on campus and during his first spring practice and winter workout event uh, so far, he's impressed. And, and no one's asking that question anymore, according to James, which tells you I think all you need to know. So Micah committed early, decommitted last spring. Yep. And then it, you kind of, you think thinking maybe he's going to go to Ohio State. Mm -hmm. December rolls around, he signs with the Lions. Then comes to reveal that he's going to work at middle linebacker. Yep. Uh, one of the stars of winter conditioning. James Franklin even references 9.5% body fat. Yeah. Zach Koontz actually has less body fat. Yeah, believe it 9%. Or not. But uh, he's really, really pleased with his true freshman January enrollees. And when you read the tea leaves, considering a lot of them can help positions of need, yeah. I think this could be a class where you see you know, three, four, five of these guys maybe play right away. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. I think you'll see Micah, Nick Tarburton, and Jesse Lucada all battle for time at linebacker. Isaiah Humphreys is a guy that could see time at safety early on. There's a big group here of kids that came in early, and they were targeted to come in early for a specific reason. Right. Now, not every kid's able to do it. Of course, they'd love to have a guy like Jake Pinniger here start kicking immediately. That was another thing James Franklin talked about today. But as far as it relates to these guys that are on here, even Zach Coons has a chance, I think. Yeah. I mean, we talked about uh, months ago the fact that he probably would need a year to get bigger but James went out of his way recently sure. to point out that he's stronger than they thought he was going to be so I don't know we'll have to wait and see but I agree with you this is going to be a high impact class and a high impact group early in release. You really have to listen closely when James is talking in the spring especially early in the spring it's a little too early for uh, no doubt about it spring breakout right because they're just getting started but he did say two things Middle linebacker depth is, was number one at his list of things they needed to accomplish with Jason Kambinda and Brandon Smith moving on. Yeah. And it obviously speaks to Micah Parsons and the linebackers we just talked about, along with some other guys that are still here, Jan Johnson being one, Jay Cooper being another. Also, the depth behind the defensive tackles. I think he likes what they got in Robert Windsor, uh, a one technique, and Kevin Givens a three technique, but he needs two or three guys to step up in spring so they can, be, they can be comfortable rotating four or five tackles on the field in the fall. Yeah, no doubt about it. They're going to need someone. I thought the middle linebacker thing was interesting. No mention of Ellis Brooks. He's a young guy I thought might factor. Right, right. He probably has some work to do. Antonio Shelton's a hot name. He's a name that James Franklin's been putting out there since the yeah. festival. I think he's Close the gap, I think, is the phrase. Right. I think he's definitely a guy to watch. They're right. I think they feel good about Robert Winter and Kevin Gibbons. The one thing we didn't get to ask, so what I would love to have known is, is Windsor had a weight drop. Yeah, he was one of the guys that was pointed out when the new roster came out as guy that made a drop. He still is pegged to play defensive tackle for, for James Franklin. Kevin Givens, the same thing. So they got some big guys coming, though. Fred Hansard and Corey Bolds are already here. P.J. Mustafer leads the way of guys who come in June. So that's it for now, but it's early, very early yes. in spring practice, and we'll have a lot more to talk about very soon.